Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Trump verdict. I did a Facebook Live explaining it all. However, I got a little bit of more follow-up that I'd like to share with you. Number one, Bragg comes out there and does his little press conference. He just follows the facts without fear and favor and all that platitude. He looks like a big overweight black walrus. He's also a barbarous, frosty spirit bloodsucker. Along with that freaky, weird lead prosecutor standing next to him. The guy that actually did the case. This, it, this is going to go down in history as the most incredible moment of a former president being found guilty on a trumped up fixed trial. Judge, prosecutor, jurisdiction, everything else. And by the way, I was a prophet, wasn't I? As much as I know how great the case went, how the facts sucked, the law sucked, everything else, that, you know, you can't change where they lean. You find the path to the heart, you find the roadmap to their logic. Boom. So I called it. He'd be convicted. And he was. He will appeal. Uh, sentencing, as you've already heard by now, uh, right before the Republican National Convention. Unlike many... I am fully confident this judge went all in on this. All in. I am fully confident this judge is willing to put him in jail. Will he? I don't know. But I'm telling you, in my opinion, that isn't off the table. He will do it. And the restriction on travel and everything else. This is a travesty. Think about all the people that don't get prosecuted for serious crimes, by the way, to this day, and, and I don't know all the intricacies of what his lawyers did, but by the way, he's going to win on appeal. Remember, the New York Supreme Court let Harvey Weinstein out. Now, get this. I want you to know this. This, this, is, this is crazy. I, I'm assuming that this will just be part of the thousand issues of appeal. Is there something called a bill of particulars? They, you get to know all the facts, all the law, everything that's coming at you. And they didn't do this in this case. I mean, as you and I are sitting here right now, we still don't know what the other underlying crime that was necessary for this crime. I mean, this is, it's outrageous. And I can tell you right now, the boomerang effect is good for Trump. Chief Justice Roberts says he's not going to meet with the Democrats about their concern about Alito. Give me a break. Iran, this is how bad these uh, protests here in the United States. The grand leader of Iran, Khomeini says, he welcomes the U.S. resistance against the anti-Zionists. Against the Zionists. Unbelievable. We have people in this country who have joined forces with this guy. Trump fundraising, off the charts, broke their website. My guess is that's going to continue. Everybody is mad. By the way, just to let you know, last night, I got like five or six emails from Trump, five or six emails from Joe Biden's campaign. They, they wasted no time. Uh, thank God everyone knows this was a joke of a trial. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.